This should never happen again, period. I don't care who does it. The blockade at Manitoba's major border with the United States is now over, but the question begs, how much damage was done to Manitoba's economy? According to Deputy Prime Minister Christian Freeland, it's estimated that around $73 million was being lost at the Emerson border every single day, totaling around $438 million throughout the entirety of the blockade. Trade insiders worry about the long-term impacts on relationships with American companies going forward. They look at this and say, is this really worth it? So to me, that is a very worrying long-term impact that we we're going to have to restore or rebuild our confidence with our customers in the U.S. Economics professor Dr. Fletcher Baragar says without public data, it's hard to really tell what the exact impact of the blockade will have on the economy. I think at this stage, it's been relatively minor, partly because there were other options, partly because it didn't last for very long, partly because it wasn't a complete embargo on all the movement of, of Canada-U.S. trade. But it underscores how important uh, the United States is as a trading partner, both for our imports and for our exports for a range of products. The U.S. is Canada's most important trading partner, and Baragar says long-term stability between the two countries is vital. For the trucking industry in Manitoba, the end of the blockade is welcome news. It's definitely put a lot of strain on our industry. The Manitoba Trucking Association says the impact has been felt across the industry. I've heard some companies suggest that it's cost them in, or has costed them in the neighborhood of $25,000 a day uh, just for detour costs, uh, not to mention the additional time uh, drivers aren't able to make, um, you know, uh, the additional time that drivers aren't able to uh, utilize to be productive. Small businesses in Winnipeg and across the province have been hit hard throughout the pandemic. Now adding this blockade into the mix, Colin Fast from the Winnipeg Chamber of Commerce says businesses are trying to stay afloat. There's broad impact all over the place. Um, you know, uh, we're, we're, we're a trading province and so uh, anytime that there's uh, there's an issue with, uh, with trade between Canada and the U.S., it's going to have a significant impact on local business. We need to look at the future. We need to look at both the prevention of this going forward in any way in the future and secondly we need to rebuild our community and our, our society in winnipeg alex carpa city news